Hey guys, so I finally left my house today and I'm so happy I did because it's just so nice to sit in the sun and get some fresh air. I also got myself some treats. So I got a mocha bomb, which is uh, Belgian chocolate mixed with coffee, which is just, it tastes amazing. And I also got myself a croissant, um, which I generally don't do for breakfast. Like I try to eat like a healthy breakfast, but today I was just like, I need to treat myself. It's, it's Friday and it's, it's such a lovely day outside in the park. Um, yeah, so the lesson I learned is I need to leave my house more. Um, and yeah, with the lockdown finally lifting soon, I feel like I will get back to some kind of normal and I am really excited for that. Okay, I'm done eating my croissant and I still have my coffee left. So I'm gonna drink this and walk back home and then probably start up my computer and try to get something solved. I, I was trying to do this like legal question in the morning and I was like really struggling and I'm kind of stuck. So maybe when I go back, I can try to do it again and see see if I can solve it. I did look at the answer, but I, I still don't understand it. And it's just taking me a long time to understand the solution, which is frustrating. But I think I need to just keep it together <laughs> and just like put all of myself into the problem and try out like more test cases to understand why a certain thing is happening. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do and finish my coffee. Okay, this is my Likot setup. I have a separate tablet that I use to draw things because that really helps me visualize and solve problems better. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get back to the problem I was trying to solve because I still have some time before work. So I will go ahead and do that. So I did get this rubber duck to talk to while I'm trying to solve the problem. Um, and basically what I'm struggling with right now is I'm not understanding why a else condition is needed for something and it's like if I don't have it there it, it gives the wrong answer so basically I ended up looking at the answer and because um, I struggled and I just couldn't solve it and I copied the answer and then I'm like trying to log out all the different um, cases and I'm trying to figure out why um, they're there and why I need them so I understand like all the things except like the last else where something is getting reset and I'm going to yeah I'm going to play with it more put some more logs throughout the script it's basically like a yeah, I think I think I just need to I need to spend some more time. Um, okay. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, I finally got it. And I'm so relieved because this whole time I was just like, I don't know why this thing is happening, why it needs to be here. Um, and that's the thing when you look at like other people's solutions, like until and unless it makes sense to you, you haven't really um understood what needs to happen. Um, so I do feel a lot better because it was just kind of, I was in my head and I was just like, why is this thing here? Why does it need to happen? And finally it makes sense. So I'm a little bit relieved. Um, highly recommend talking to someone or like talking to a rubber duck. Okay. So the one thing I also learned about myself is to, anytime I'm kind of in this like rut and like, I just don't know, like why something's happening and like I'm not feeling like motivated I need to go for a walk and like take a break and um also like talk to a rubber duck or if you don't have a rubber duck just like just talk out loud like get it out of your head um and like draw or write because that will really help it click and help you understand faster why a thing is happening um because I was definitely in my head and I couldn't figure I couldn't resolve it in my head so I did need like those visual tools and I did need to kind of talk um so yeah I'm happy I did that and I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here thanks for watching I hope you all the best in your problem solving journey 
Um, okay, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.